Chris here for Tenka Tech and welcome to the channel and today it's the Arduino series on understanding the analog write command. So let's get started now. So last week I'll fool you all when I said we are going to do digital read and the serial port. Today it's indeed about the analog write command. I do recommend you however to watch the previous video on the subject as this will help and make it easier for you to follow today's video. You will find all the link in the description down below and since you are there you have the opportunity to help me when you like, subscribe, or even comment whatever you want to share. Now, with all that out of the way, and without further ado, let's recap what we learned so far about the Arduino. We learned that we can blink an LED, and that was the introduction to the Arduino. I also touched a little bit before with the difference about analog and digital pins. That's what we see here. Then we learned about LEDs and how not to burn them. <laughs> we learned about variables as well and with this we also learn how to read a schematic we also learn the morse code we also learn about breadboards what are they and how to use them then we step up a little bit more with the binary how to understand and use them and finally last week we also learn about how to configure multiple LEDs in order to look like the Night Rider. Of course, I could stop here, but I will hear many of you say, yes, exactly that. <laughs> so let's continue and really see what the video is about today. It's all about analog inputs. But why analog inputs? Because everything that we do so far was in digital mode. So now we have to convert, since everything we see, hear, taste, Feel with analog. As a recap, there was 5 volt and 0 volt, 5 be on, 0 be off. Of course, there is some board like the Arduino Pro Mini and the Adafruit Trinket that are on 3.3 volt only. Those are not the only ones, but anyway. And now, this is where you ask, Chris, how to read analog values then? Well, inside the Arduino, there is an ADC, which stands for Analog Digital Converter. So this ADC, basically, it's an onboard component that simply converts analog to digital. And now I will try a simple way to explain to you how it works. Let's start with the example of a sine wave in between 0 to 5 volt. Think of it as a voltage that is trending over time. It is necessary to convert this into a flow of digital values. We do this by using a set of time instances in the given interval. We call this action sampling because we take a sample from time to time. And the amount of time that we take a second is called the sampling rate. You can understand this by looking at the chart where, for this example, I only take three samples. Now that we understand, we can convert the value of each sample into digital zones. Let's divide our signal into two separate sections and everything which is of upper fraction will be converted to a digital value of 1. If the samples are in the lower section, they will be converted into a digital value of 0. As you can see here, the first sample fall in the upper region, so it's converted to a 1. For the second sample, it's below, so it's a 0. For the third one, it's also below, so it's a 0 again. Just like that, we have converted digital value into an analog one with a 1-bit accuracy. And this process is called quantization. Please look it up. <laughs> we can now use this sample to do a 2-bit accuracy. So we will divide it into four sections. And by doing so, we have now a range from 0 to 3. We have a little bit more accuracy. The limitation with a binary it's the 5 volt. Once we had that, we can go all the way up to 256. Please look my binary video if you want to know how I get this. Yes, it's 2 to the power of 8. So is it 256? No, it's not. You remember, we start by 0, hence we end up with the 255 only. And we can now monitor all the value in between. Remember that this is a simple explanation, of course. Now, where do we read the value from, will you ask? We are using every day some components already. It's like microphones, buttons, some other that you might know are temperature sensors, photoresistors, potentiometers, you know, for the radio to toggle the volume lower or higher. Those kind of things. It is time now to have a look at the sketch and as you see the only thing that is different it's the analog right and basically what we have to do it's in here we have to declare what value we want. Now we have the possibility instead of using one or zero true or false we can use any number from zero 
to 255 and this is uh, represented by the integer on top here but before we send this to the Arduino let's see the connection now here we have the cable connected to the computer for the power of course and now here we have the resistor connected to the ground who goes to the cathode and then after we have from the anode into the Arduino pin number three notice that I dial next to it like pin five pin six pin nine pin 10, pin 11, all those are PWM or pulse width modulation. Here I have a side note, this is the project from last week and it's connected to a battery pack. So if you want your project to be mobile, just plug it to a battery pack, turn on the battery pack and you can see that as long as there is a code in the Arduino, it starts running. Now we can go and plug the other Arduino into the computer and load our sketch. This is the full power, means 255. Now we are going to send a little bit less let's say 200 you cannot see really see the difference but in real life you can see that it dims a little bit so now we do half of it again send that to the Arduino there it is now you can see on the screen you definitely can see right I will speed it up because there's no point for me to say I will do half each time and then you will see uh, at the end I will do 256 and you will see what's happened I'm sending the command now for 256 and yes those who guess that it start back at zero you are correct 256 means actually like if you put one you cannot see much right so now let me put uh, 290 let's send this to the Arduino and see what does it do and yes, it's a little bit more. You are correct. 290 actually means 35. And how do I get that? It's simple. 290 minus 255. But as for now, that is it for today. However, I do hope that you like this video. If you want to know more about the analog write command, simply leave a comment down below. I will be happy to do a follow-up video on that. And just to let you know, I started the Patreon where, may you wish, you will be able to help me to finance further projects or other content like this video. And again, if you enjoy it, you know what to do. You can do your youtube things, like if you want to, subscribe, you may as well. Or you can also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why it's so. I will try to improve for you guys. Stay safe and bye now!